Hamiltonian simulation. Quantum systems are described by Hamiltonian. In the case of a system of n particles with a spin of half or qubits, the Hamiltonian is a square matrix of size 2 to the power of n by 2 to the power of n. And the state vector of a quantum system lies in a vector space whose dimension grows exponentially with the size of the system. As a result, the problem of simulating the full-time evolution of arbitrary quantum systems consisting of many particles on a classical computer becomes intractable. In 1982, Richard Feynman proposed to use a quantum computer for Hamiltonian simulation. And in 1996, Seth Lloyd proved this statement. He showed that the universal quantum computers can calculate the evolution of a quantum system efficiently, which means with polynomial time and memory resources in the size of the target system. Indeed, a quantum computer with fully operational 50 qubits can store a state vector which consists of 2 to the power of 50 complex numbers. Using a single precision floating format, or float32, to store the real and imaginary parts of each vector component, this would correspond to something like 9 petabytes of information, which roughly corresponds to the random access memory of modern supercomputers. Thus, the problem of simulating the dynamics of quantum systems was the original motivation for quantum computers and remains one of the most important practical applications of quantum computation. There are many important quantum systems for which classical simulation is intractable. These are, for example, the Ising and Hubbard models. Solutions to these models give many bulk physical properties, such as the dielectric constant, conductivity, and magnetic susceptibility of materials. Another important application, which is uniquely suited to quantum computation because of the computational complexity, is the simulation of atoms, molecules, and other biochemical systems. This includes the calculation of the ground state energy of large systems and the study of the dynamical behavior of an ensemble of molecules, or complex molecular behavior such as protein folding. The evolution of a closed quantum system is unitary, which means reversible, and is given by the time-dependent Schrodinger equation, where h is the Hamiltonian of the system and h-bar is the reduced Planck constant. This is an axiom of quantum mechanics. The solution of the Schrodinger equation is a description of what state a system will be in after a Hamiltonian has been applied to it for a certain period of time. In the case of a time-independent Hamiltonian, it takes the following form. The problem is that it is usually extremely difficult to exponentiate this part, since the Hamiltonian may be sparse but still exponentially large. Also, we can define the time evolution operator U, which is in the case of a time-independent Hamiltonian, can be defined as the e to the power of minus e h t. The problem of Hamiltonian simulation is thus stated as follows. Given a Hamiltonian H, which is a square Hermitian matrix of size 2 to the power of n by 2 to the power of n, acting on n qubits at time t and maximum simulation error epsilon, the goal is to find a sequence of computational gates that implement time evolution such that the spectral norm of the difference between simulated and the ideal evolution is less than epsilon. The spectral norm of matrix A is the largest singular value of A, namely the square root of the largest eigenvalue of the matrix A dagger A, where A dagger denotes the Hermitian conjugate of A.